Now, I'm a fan of us atheists having our own little atheist meetings and watching our little atheist celebrities on YouTube. I do those things on a weekly and daily basis. But the problem that can arise from that is adopting a sort of quick quip quotation style of argument. Now, what do I mean by that? What is a quick quip argument? Say that five times fast. This kind of argument is just a little a little one-liner that gets thrown out by people like Richard Dawkins to an atheist audience, and it resonates well with them. And the problem is that those atheists in the audience will try to adopt that argument when they go to talk to the religious person. But the problem, of course, is that the little one-liner argument works well on an atheist audience, but it doesn't always convey the message to a religious person who may not have the same uh, assumptions that an atheist does, and sometimes these little arguments can be downright rude. But what's even worse is when these little one-liner arguments are simply wrong and people, atheists, get into the habit of just throwing them out without thinking about them. For example, and I'm sure we've all heard this argument, uh, and I'll be talking about this argument for the rest of the video, the argument is, well, gravity is only a theory. I don't see you creationists jumping off of buildings. Mm, what's up with that? But the theory of evolution and the observation that things fall are two very different types of things that we can know. I mean, things falling is an observable thing, like jump, 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 things fall. Easy as that. So of course you'd be an idiot to say, oh, well, if I jump off this bridge, I'm not going to fall. In the same way, natural selection is something that is clearly visible. Look, you know, the peppered moss, we've started polluting all the trees, they turned black, what do you know, the moss changed. You'd be an idiot to say, well, I'm going to destroy the environment, mess it all up, and no, the population isn't going to change at all. Nah, natural selection doesn't happen. Both are clearly observable. But this is entirely different than doubting the theory of evolution or the theory of gravity. Theories are not observable. Observations, well, of course they are. Things fall. Natural selection happens. You could make an analogy between things falling and natural selection if you wanted to convince someone that natural selection was true. You know, well, I see you don't jump off of br bridges and expect to live, so why do you deny the fact that natural selection occurs? These are both observable things. That is an appropriate analogy. But to say, well, I don't see you jumping off of bridges, therefore why don't you believe in the theory of evolution, you're comparing apples and oranges. Granted, there is great reason to believe in the theory of evolution, and you're kind of dumb if you've looked into this but you don't, but that's not a correct analogy. A correct analogy would be something like between the theory of gravity, warping space-time, that whole gravity well thing, and the theory of evolution. You accept, you know, Einstein relativity, but you don't accept evolution. They're both theories. That would be an appropriate analogy, or my preferred one is atoms. Atoms are a theory. We've never seen atoms. You will take courses in atomic theory, not atomic fact or observation. So you could say to a evolution-denying creationist, well, look, you believe in atoms. Why don't you believe in evolution? That is an appropriate analogy. That's comparing apples to apples. And I'm kind of disappointed to see a lot of atheists, or just internet people, atheists, whoever, using this argument comparing the observation of gravity to the theory of evolution. It's just one of these one-liner arguments that gets thrown out without really being thought about, and that's something that I don't like to see in my fellow atheists.